Most coconut oil thing. mask in my hair. On my way to treat myself to a little coffee. I'm so, why do I have a long ass dark hair on my shirt? Bitch, who is she? Okay, let's go get a Starbucks because we need to get up and get our lives together. Happy Sunday. Today's Sunday. Um, and we are taking control of our lives today. You hear me, ladies? You hear me? We are, we're doing it. Today's a new day. It feels like a good day. And I feel like today is the day that I'm fully getting my shit together. Because <laughs> I've been a little <laughs> depressed potato lay <laughs> laying around. When I say laying around, I mean crying around. <laughs> Too soon, even for myself. <laughs> Cheese grater, which is Jay, to come back inside. He's outside with Cam. Um, I will show you. Chips are another big thing. So Siete, they make really good, clean, healthy chips. Okay, then also Amy's organic refried beans. Um, ground beef. Damn, Kristen Cavallari, all about the health life. Again, like we're all kind of sensitive to cow's milk. And salsa. Where's the shredded lettuce? Put shredded lettuce on your nachos or don't freaking talk to me. Okay, does anyone else hate when like you're in the drive-thru and like you're at half car's distance to the drive-thru? It's like a tease. It's like a just the tip kind of moment. So inappropriate. Okay, well, I'm excited today. Speaking of how I help you today. Hi, can I get a grande flat white? Uh, can I make it a triple shot with soy milk, please? A triple with soy milk, all right. Anything a else? triple with soy milk? Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Just that. That's it? Yes. 535. It's like oddly difficult. There's, There's, a clear. There's there not an extra shot in here. That, um, I don't know if you get in most... We got lucky in our Sips business partnership. Not caffeinated We've had some enough really, coffee. Maybe three intense... Oh, mind blowing just got back to the house. Um, Purely Elizabeth actually sent me a ton of their granola. If you guys have never tried this Purely Elizabeth, you can find it pretty much everywhere. I always find it at Target. And the ingredients are so good. Um, if you like follow Weight Watchers at all or like count macros or something, the points are kind of high. But the ingredients are amazing and it tastes so good. Really good for you. And... So I'm, I'm eating some of that so I can take my antibiotic. Focus on me, hello. So I can take my antibiotic. I have my not caffeinated enough coffee. I was gonna go to freaking Home Goods to like get some inspiration because what I'm doing today. So I want to work today, but I also really need to just like declutter. Ugh, I have like two apartments worth of things. So now that like I said in the last video, which thank you for all the love and support on that video. Um, I tweeted about it a lot and if you guys don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you probably feel like you've never seen me, but I'm literally always on there, always talking to you guys. So I was talking on Twitter just about how like grateful and thankful I am for all the love on that video. Um, it was really amazing and really helpful to me um, to kind of just like let it out. So. As we know, I've decided to stay here for a little bit um, at my grandparents' house. I don't know. I was talking about this in the Year View Facebook group. I don't know where I want to move yet. I have a few ideas, but I don't want to move. I know that I don't like moving during the holidays. I know that I don't want to move during the holidays. I know that right now any decision that I make will just be impulsive, and I don't want to do that. I don't, don't want to do that. So I need to create my own little space here and not feel like I'm just like at my grandparents house you know what I mean so we need to do that and that starts with decluttering because right now my old bedroom is just full of things my things of course and the front room that I was using as my office is now full of things and I also have a full storage unit so <laughs> we need to create some sort of sanctuary here and some sort of safe space but it will not be easy. But I was gonna go to Home Goods to get some sort of inspiration. Who knows? But I need to take this antibiotic because I feel like my body is dying. 
Haley, stop it. No chewing on your foot. No. Bad girl. Don't do that. Okay. Shoot. God bless that it is only noon because I have gone through like... Okay. I don't know why I'm like this, but I started on the front room, which had all of the stuff from... Like, why did I think that was a good angle? Which had like all the stuff... Are you shaking? Do you want me to close the window? Are you cold? You poor little pony. Are you a cold little boy? Oh, goodness. Anywho. <laughs> uh, anywho, I just have something in my bed that I hope you guys saw. Um, but just like, I started here and it was going really well. And then I was like, oh, I should go get a few things, which I have stuff here. Then we take to the cabin. That's trash. And then I went back here and I got really distracted and I started doing this. This is all trash. Trash. Give a, or uh, donate. Donate. Trash. Those are all empty boxes. Uh, giveaway. And then I'm trying to. Now I'm like stuck here. With Jackie Schimmel. Um, my old room. All of my clothes. Well, partially of my clothes. And this is like. This is like two rooms full of shit. That needs to go. Throw that away. Two rooms full of shit and a full storage unit full of shit. So this is where my life's at. Like, I can't even, like, put this stuff away because, like, my closet is, like, my old closet. I need to pause that. Sorry. Why am I like this? Um, I can't even, like, hang stuff up because it's, like, my old closet slash, like, I'm sure when y'all left the house, like, your family took over and they're like, this is mine now, bitch. And, like, filled it with their stuff. So, and, like, this dresser. Like, I should clean out the dresser and then, like, stuff up here. So I've been going through stuff, like very poorly not a very good organizer I'm trying but I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff but it's like I've done a lot but then like it, it doesn't look like I've done a lot it's very discouraging so here we are here we are thank god it's only noon thank god it is only noon but I've just been getting rid of clothes that like I don't wear or clothes that like I know that I will never wear do you ever buy something being like I will 100% wear this all the time, but I wear literally the same like four or five. I've talked about this before. I wear the same four or five outfits all the time. My bra collection is like out of this world, but I'm really passionate about that. So I'll keep them. Um, the makeup going through all things that I've been sent and like things I've bought and just never used. So getting stuff for giveaways all put together, um, then figuring out how I want to do the giveaways and then figuring out like stuff that I do want to keep to try and videos for you guys and trying to like organize stuff for work stuff because now it's just like a whole thing. And I also have like a bed in that front room. Like I didn't know where to literally put my bed from my apartment before this so I just brought it here and put it in the front room because I thought it looked cute and I was like oh if people come over like they can stay um which like I didn't fully think that through so like do I want to be in this room or like do I want to stay up there and it's super cute because when I would stay here I would just stay up there because this like room just got filled with things um but then it's also like I'm sp splitting half my time at the cabin so I de do I decorate my bedroom up there because I do have a bedroom there. I don't think I've ever showed you guys. I've showed you on, like, Instagram Live. Um, there's just a lot going on, you guys. Just reporting from rock bottom. Starting my life over again. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. But I'm trying to, like, just declutter. Because there's so many fucking things around me. Sorry for using that word. Um, there's just so many things around me that I don't care about. And I don't want. And I'm just trying to detach from everything. <sighs> It's also very weird being in this room. TBT. T. B. T. Like that hamper, the pink glittery sparkly hamper from my college dorm room. Why do I still have that? There's a hamper right here that is very full as I'm like finding things. Um, okay, let's continue. Let's keep going. Eek. Eek. <laughs>
Very exciting progress guys. I've had a veggie taco. I have fed myself so I am less grumpy and hungry now. And also, bitch same. My friend and I are texting about some boy drama and I'm like, <laughs> girl same. Um, okay. But I got in new sheets, these new Brooklinen pillows comforter and sheets did i ever say pillows yes um and also look at this cute ass bag this came in like um yes amazing so i got the what did i get i think i got the core um, Lux core set so yeah so the core set comes with a duvet cover sheets pillowcases i think that's Pillowcases, duvet cover, sheets. Yes, that makes sense that it would come with that. Um, so I'm super excited. I ordered the wrong duvet, but that's fine. I'll send that back and get the right one. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. Pro life hack, breakup tip. Um, if you had your partner over a lot, if you lived together, um, get new sheets, get new bedding. Um, this is actually for the cabin because obviously I took my sheets with me, but I am not putting them on this bed. So. If you guys want to see a video of me decorating my cabin bedroom, then let me know. I think I should totally do that. I think that'd be super fun. But I'm obsessed with these sheets. These are so freaking soft, and I saw them online, and um, obsessed and super affordable. I'm really into nice sheets now. I uh, used to get them all at Home Goods, and now I'm like, Marissa, you're an adult. You deserve it. Uh, you just got your heart put into a blender and turned on puree. So, ow. So, you deserve it, sister friend. You deserve it. Good morning, my sweet, sweet friends. I still look like this. I still have coconut oil in my hair. I really need to wash it out, but I have a couple errands I'm gonna run and then I will wash it out. Um, I spent all morning packing orders and shipping orders. Where's my shoes? Um, and I did a bunch of email stuff. Just boring things, nothing that exciting, nothing worth the vlog. Um, I feel really burpy. Um, 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 Marissa, stop saying, um, I took my last antibiotic today. Super exciting. Uh, I, what, oh, keys, that's what I need. I knew I was gonna forget something. Grab me my keys. Ooh, you know what I got in the mail today that I am stoked about? Not you, no. Not Brody, I've already had him. Hi, can you scoot? Scoot your boot. Uh, Franklin and Whitman, sent me like a ton of their products which i'm so excited my friend katie katie dalebout just had i think his name's chris the founder of franklin and whitman and so just hearing about their story and just like what he really cares about and his family and his dogs like super excited so sent me a ton of their products their face masks their dry shampoo their body serums like i'm super excited about this steam um a cleansing serum i'm super excited so i think i'm actually going to do a bit of a review on them because honestly and i could totally be wrong so i hope i don't offend anyone <laughs> Um, I have never seen anyone really talk about them on YouTube. I see people talk about them all the time on Instagram, um, but I've never seen anyone talk about them on YouTube. So maybe I'll do like a video. Good morning, my beautiful, beautiful, sweet, sweet friends. Hello. Happy day. Um, I have not been vlogging. I've been awful. Like, honestly, I was talking about this on Twitter. 2017... I've never had a bad, like that bad of a year. Like I remember when um, I went through my first real breakup and I went to Seattle and I was filming that podcast with Chris and Rachel. I remember them talking about how like Rachel had had a really hard year. Chris like had found that job so it was super exciting but like that year just sucked and they were like super excited for... 2016 they were excited for or 17 i don't know the next year they were excited for maybe it was this no it was 2016 they were excited for and like i just remember feeling like oh like this breakup sucks but honestly it's the best thing that ever happened to me like da 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 and i'd never really experienced i feel like like don't get me wrong i've been through hard shit like parents both addicts mom died of a drug overdose been through my fair share of shit but I've never like actually felt like fuck this year was awful and uh, 
2017 really just opened my eyes to the potential of what a bad year could be and I know I haven't shared a lot and I think that goes back to me not being on the internet a lot and like just not talking a lot and not opening up a lot but I think that um I will open up more about things that happen because it's not just like oh right now because I got my heart put in a blender that that's why this is a bad year it's like the whole, many things have happened um and I don't know I'm super excited for next year like I feel like 2017 just needs to be fucking over and I feel like ugh, I don't know does anyone else feel that way? Like, the only person fucking thriving in, excuse my French, in 2017 is Cardi B. Honestly, let's be real. Mm. So that's how I feel. That's where I'm at. Um, I, I am ready for this year to be over. This year was awful. Just awful. But according to my Chinese horoscope, is it Chinese horoscope? Chinese zodiac? I'm sorry if I'm 100% butchering that. Um, said that this year would be shit. Love wise, career wise, home wise. What was the other one? I think was, there's like a self category. I don't know. Um, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta have some darkness to have light, you know? So, however that saying goes, I haven't had enough coffee today, but today is going to be a great day, and it's super funny, because when I talk about on Twitter, I'm just like, is 2017 over yet? And I have a few people who are like, you need to be positive, like, you can still turn it around at the end, like, da da da, and I'm like, no, I, I, I'm being positive, like, I can be positive and also very realistic, like, I positively know that next year will be better. I positively know that I'm taking on every day with a good attitude, but also just knowing that like, hey, this isn't my year, and um, um, you live and you fucking learn, man. You live and you learn. Also, I'm going to be 25 next year, and that is like uh, very scary, intimidating, and has me shook. Shook it. Mm. So that's where I'm at. But today on the agenda, we have to run to Whole Foods to pick up some kombucha, super exciting things. Um, I have to run to Target to pick up more coffee. And also on the work front, I need to, I wanna to vlog today, but I'm also shipping light love and lace orders and I have a bunch of new crystals in that I need to organize and like decide what I need to like photograph and everything like that. Um, Tomorrow one of my friends is coming into town, so I'm gonna go stay in the city for the night, which will be super fun. And this weekend I think I'm gonna go stay at the cabin. Um, living at home again has been a serious, a serious experience. It's very odd. Like I'm sure that anyone could imagine, like it's very odd. Not in like a bad way or a good way. It's just like very different and very, I don't know. Does that make any sense? Maybe, I don't know. But, I've been hanging out with my girlfriends. I've really been trying to like, focus on those relationships and those friendships. Cause most of the friends I've had, my friends like around me now that I spend most of my time with are friends that I've had since like, either high school or that I met when I went to college for that fun, crazy year. Um, so it's really just nice. Um, I feel like a lot of people talk about this that when you work in social media or you're a YouTuber or whatever, like you really don't know why people are your friend. Like you kind of have people who are friends for you with you for the wrong reasons, which I've experienced a lot. So it's kind of nice just knowing that like these are your genuine people and your genuine friends and you can count on them and rely on them. And my friends have been really great through everything. And I will say that, that that's something that I really appreciate and love that my friends have been there for me. Like. I don't know, the past, what, year or two? So, not year or two. That was a weird way to phrase it. But my friends are, like, the foundation. Like, I can always count on them. So, that has been nice. Because this past year and a half, year, has been rocky AF. So. Oh, there was, like, stevia just on, like, the bridge. 
or bridge, what? The lip of the mug, that was so gross. <laughs>